I don't know why, but lately I've been fixated on looking into flat panel four three aspect ratio monitors that are you know old LCDs and whatnot. I don't know. I, I just wanted to check one out, play some retro games on it, just find the right one, and that's that's where we're at today. We're gonna be checking out this Samsung SyncMaster. 152 MP. Now I'm not a person who normally frequents thrift shops. I do go to like the consignment antique stores every once in a while because you'll you'll find some interesting stuff there. But our local thrift shops, man, it, it's yeah, kind of hit and miss, weird junk. Uh, every five feet that you walk, you get a different taste in your mouth. I, I just, it's it's nasty, man. But I I don't know. It just the other day I was compelled. Let me stop at this thrift shop which is the same place that I got that uh, little CRT that's up there, like a little 13 inch CRT. It served me well. And I spent, I'm pretty sure the same amount, like this monitor I got from the same place, $10.91. They slap uh, some damn tape over it. So I'm gonna have to wind up cleaning that part when I you know, get to it. But um, the problem was is that they had, they didn't have any CRTs. I guess like a lot of these places don't take them anymore. And I was trying to see if they had anything different. Uh, Cause there's a couple of them I was interested in that are fairly common, but they don't, they don't get them in anymore. They're like, no, we don't deal with CRTs, but flat panel. Yeah, we deal with that. So I seen this up on a high shelf and the only problem was it didn't have a power supply. So I couldn't test it. And they have like a testing station so you could plug things in and it's like all sales final. You buy something. If it don't work, you don't like it. You ain't getting your money back. But the woman said, well, since this doesn't have a power supply, uh, if you buy a power supply and it doesn't work right, uh, you can come back and we'll give you store credit. It's like $11. I'm not really tripping too much, but I did have to order a power supply and it just came in. So that's where we're at. We're going to be testing it. I'm really hoping for the best, but what intrigued me by this, I don't even know if it's the greatest quality in the world or anything, is that it has like all the, uh, the, the you know, video ports that I want. Like we have, we have composite on the side down here and S video in that little corner. So you got that covered and then you got component up here and then you got VGA and you, you have a, an RF antenna looking thing right here. So this was uh, manufactured February 2004 in Tijuana, Mexico. So this is a good 18, 19 years old and uh, I, I just thought it was intriguing. So I'm hoping for the best. I'm going to try it with the uh, tiny NES. And, and see what to do. Cause that's cool, man. A, B, composite, you know, component, all that good stuff. But let me go ahead and plug this in. And uh, man, like, I, I think this, I, I looked it up on Newegg cause I was trying to find like, what, what are the specs? It's 1024 by uh, 768, 16.7 um, million colors, 30 kilohertz, 60 kilohertz refresh rate. So, okay, vertical, oh, that's horizontal vertical refresh rate, 56 hertz, 75 hertz. It's an ASI TFT active matrix panel, an XGA display type. So analog RGB, CVBS, S video, composite, TV, antenna, and cable. Nice, Energy Star compliant. So <laughs> let's find out if this thing works, man. Let's do it. So yeah, hoping for the best here, hoping for the best. If it doesn't work, I don't know that I'm necessarily gonna go back and, uh, return it because I mean it was $11 and it's just I don't know if I want to go through those tastes in my mouth again I'm kind of reliving it right now it's disgusting okay she's plugged in what to do did it turn on oh we got power nice what the hell is that looks like the screen's dirty hold on uh nope son of a bitch can you see that there's like dark spots like dead pixels? What? Ugh, yeah, I thought it was dirt at first, but it's not. Those are messed up pixels. Damn it. There's some, there's a big blob right there. There's a line of them there and a line up there. Ah, damn it. Okay. H hopefully, maybe if it switches, no, there, it's probably just going to be like that, but let's find out. Let's plug this thing in. I'm a little disappointed now. Damn it. Ah. Okay, moment of truth, but I mean, it already looks kind of bad. Let's do a Super Mario 3 with our tiny NES. <sighs> oh, wow. Getting some distortions going through. And we do have those damn <sighs> dead pixels. Like they're just touch. That's cool. 
Oh, shit. Yeah, I kind of like that. I just wish we didn't have all this dead pixel nonsense. So just some basic options in there. I wonder if I could, uh, oh, I wonder if there's a pin on there. I ain't worried about all that. That's kind of cool how the buttons work. They're just touch. Wide screen or normal. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try a different system. I don't know why we're getting all that distortion, but okay, let me, let me plug in my Famicom. Okay, I switched to the Famicom. I mean, I don't think it really is gonna make much of a difference, but I wanted to check that out on here real quick. Uh, I have a different power supply and whatnot, but I was kind of curious, can I rub out like these dead pixels? Can I fix it by rubbing it? And I don't know, but it almost looks like it's helping a little bit. Maybe it is rejuvenating them slightly. But this is kind of disappointing. I was hoping for just a nice panel, no matter what the quality <laughs> of the picture was. I was just hoping this would be nice, but so far, um, yeah, I mean, it was $10, $11, so not tripping too much, but it kind of looks like that's helping a little bit. I, I don't know. Like, is there another solution? Let me, let me rub it a little longer, but whatever. Okay. It's a, you know, the, the risk you take buying something without being able to test it. Hey, that actually looks clean. I don't have that, I don't have that weird distortions rolling through like I did with the tiny NES. Yeah, those black spots are really noticeable. But this is kind of cool. Like, man, it's just four, three. Looks like junk. I mean, if I if I had component, it would probably look better, but um, yeah, let me try component on my NES. Okay, so I got my RGB modded NES. Uh, the, the Famicom was RGB modded as well. I just didn't have the proper cable for that system, but this one's kind of wired up a little differently. So I got it plugged in, powered on. We're still on video, so I'm assuming that's just composite, so we got to Select component, S video. Is this it? Black screen, oh, there it is. Component, Super Mario 3. And I just spit on the screen. It doesn't look too bad. Definitely better, oh man. I, I hate that those damn splotches are all of those dead pixels. This, I mean, it looks okay. It's still a little blurry and you know washed out a little bit, but it, 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 it uh, looks better than composite, that's for sure. Um, man, now, like, I'm gonna be fixated on this damn monitor. If I can't get these dead pixels fixed, which seems unlikely to be able to get all of them out, like, I still kinda want this, uh, this monitor. I want, like, a clean one. Like, this monitor's kinda cool. It, it like, folds because of the stand. Like, and it can move, and all the inputs and outputs, the built-in speaker, it's 15 inches. Like, I just, I wanted this to have like an NES plugged into it. It's kind of neat, but yeah, you know, for $11, um, it, it's not, it wasn't a lot of money. Hopefully I could find another one that actually is in better condition for around the same price, but yeah, I'm glad I didn't spend like $100 or anything on this thing. Uh, but what do you think? Like, is it worth trying to find like a little monitor like this to play retro games on? Should just stick with the modern monitors that we have, uh, old CRTs or what? I, I just thought this would be interesting to take a look at. And like I said, I was a little fixated wanting to find a monitor like this and I found one that's kind of jacked up. But uh, yeah, you know, it's a thrift shop find, so it, it is what it is. A little disappointing, but hey. At least I'm not out a lot of money. And they did say I can go back, but eh, I don't know if it's worth it. Let me know what you guys think. Appreciate y'all. Bye.